There's been a lot of steampunk going on around here, and today was no exception. Let's get into it. So today I am creating my monthly Arteza folded paper frame project. These are the projects that I create on camera and then give away the following month. So I started with this Arteza paper frame and a piece of printed corrugated cardboard from Canvas Core. And here I'm just showing you how easy it is to fold up these paper frames. You just take them out of the pad they come on, fold up on the lines um, each side, and then there's two little tabs that you have to remove. And then the corners just fold one into the other by placing those longer tabs into the slots. And it's just that easy. So I am going to use the back side of the frame to create a sort of like a shadow box. And I have these really cool translucent papers that I got from the Mad Fox on Instagram. And they are like an old billing paper from a railroad company. And I'm just going to lay one of those down on the inside of the frame. I unfolded it so that it would make... Um, painting and collage a little easier on this paper frame and put it down with some matte medium and some matte medium on top just to protect it and I had to take one piece off the bottom so I just put that over the top and dried that off so I want the back and the sides of the frame to be black so I'm just putting down one layer of black gesso all over the back side of the frame and also down both sides in the top and the bottom. So when I fold it up, you'll see the black sides and then the paper will be on the inside of the shadow box frame. So once that was all dry, I just folded the frame back up and you will see that I now have the black frame around that really cool old piece of railroad paper. And I'm just touching up any little white spots that might peek through from the white sides on the inside. So now it's time to choose chipboard pieces and ephemera and junk and whatever I decide to use to create my steampunk theme. So I have a lot of chipboard pieces that I have left over from the great big assemblage that I'm still working on. But there are a lot of pieces that I know I'm not going to use there that I know I can use here. So I'm just choosing and kind of auditioning where I want to put things and how many things will fit or look good. So I just spent some time moving things around and trying them out to see what I want to use. I wanted my paper on the inside of the frame to look a little more aged, so I'm just using some quinacridone nickel azo gold high flow acrylic and a wet baby wipe and then a brush to just get some uneven aged looking color on that paper. And then I decided that I would spatter it with some watered down black gesso. And I dried that off, and then I also spattered some quinacridone nicolazo gold all over the paper and some onto the frame as well. 
I think it just gives a more of an aged look, adds a little more interest to that background paper. Plus, it's fun to do. Now I'm bringing back the Canvas Core printed corrugated cardboard piece and aging that and grunging it up with some black gesso. I went around the edges first just to give it sort of a dark, dirty look and then just used a dry brush to get some of the same gesso blackness <laughs> all over the rest of it just to kind of give a more cohesive look. You can still see the writing on there. And now I am using the rust color and the gold color from my Finibear rust paste set. And they are a little bit dry. I did reconstitute them from total hardness to usability again by adding fluid matte medium to the jars and just stirring them over the course of a few days but they're still just they go on a little bit crumbly so I just dipping my brush into some matte medium picking up just a little bit of that and then adding the color it just moves a little easier with the matte medium in the brush so then I add the gold and I'm just trying to get more of a rusty aged look to this piece of cardboard it just the coloration goes much better as you could see with the paper inside of my frame so everything kind of coordinates better now cleaning up my mess now I'm going to take some Finibear metallic wax in the color Firebird and just get a little bit of a metallic look going all over this board. It's just kind of a red copper color, really pretty. And I'm just wiping off any little granules of rust paste that I've picked up in the process of putting that wax down. So then off camera, I glued together my little pieces of embellishments and then glued those clusters to the frame and to the cardboard. Now that everything is glued down, it's not all dry and you'll see me holding it with my finger, but I'm adding some Firebird wax and then I'll go back in with some Peacock metallic wax by Finibear and I'm just going to leave you with some music while I add these waxes.
I'm just finishing up, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just finishing up with the gold highlights that I'm putting on here with the lighter gold color in the Lumiere paint. This was a really fun project. I really enjoyed doing it. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now would be a good time to do that because every month I give one of these Arteza framed paper projects away. So this one will be up for grabs next month. And so you have a month to get entered and have a chance to win this. Hit my notification bell so that you are notified when I'm ready to give it away. Speaking of giving away, now's the time to announce the winner of the project from last month. This was another folded frame project with a vintage collage. So we're just going to reveal the winner's name right here. Are you ready? Is it you? The winner is Jennifer Schwartz. Jennifer, you will find my email address in the description box below. Send me an email with your mailing address and I will get this shipped out to you. Congratulations. So if you stuck around this far, then you will know that you could win today's project for this month's giveaway of the Arteza paper frame. All you have to do is leave a comment below this video, subscribe and turn on my notification bell so that you will be notified next time it's time for the giveaway. I hope you enjoyed watching this one today. I really enjoyed having you here and I appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. And in the meantime, go make some art. Bye.